So I heard that the top 10 dropshipping products I dropped last week wasn't enough for you guys. Now with that being said, this is gonna be the most comprehensive step-by-step -step guide of how to find winning dropshipping products in 2024 and beyond. So if you can put 15 minutes of your time to watch this whole entire video, you're gonna learn everything that I know so you can go out there and find winning products that can generate you real sales. So grab your notes and let's get started. All right, real quick, let's talk about why customers buy from dropshipping stores in the first place. And I feel like once you understand this one aspect, it's gonna give you a whole new understanding while looking for products and deciding how you're gonna market them. Customers buy from your online store simply because the product and how it's being marketed makes them feel something. Now, hear me out. Finding a product that solves a problem is always a good indication that you're heading into the right direction. But if we wanna be real about it, if sales on your dropshipping store were just coming from the fact that customers need a product, then dropshippers would not be around. Customers would just head to Amazon or their store of choice and get whatever product that they need. But while consumers are scrolling through social media, their attention spans are low and they're just looking for the next exciting thing to give them a dopamine rush. And that's where your product and how you're marketing it comes into play. The quicker you can grab the attention of consumers with your ad and show everything that the product can do for them, the more likely that they will come running to your store. You see, consumers are mindlessly scrolling on social media on an average of over two hours per day, just looking for the next want without even knowing it. All of that to say, the success that you have while selling online doesn't solely rely on the product that you're selling, but also on how you're marketing that product and how it's making your audience feel. Now, I'm not gonna just sit here and tell you that. I'm going to give you four industry advertising secrets in a couple minutes that could help you sell ice to an Eskimo, so stay with me. But with how important the marketing of your product is, you still have to know what makes a good product to market and how to find them. So let's go ahead and get into that. That starts with the product, the PPP or product profit potential, and then product research tools. Now the product that you're selling has to be marketable, which we just talked about. Ideally, it will be a product that has a high perceived value, meaning that consumers, they don't feel like they're paying too much for the product that they're thinking about purchasing. And here's a pro tip. Consumers typically have a higher perceived value on products that can help them make some aspect of their life easier or more convenient. So the more your product is helping people and is marketed as such, the more consumers are going to be willing to spend on it. Now, that does not mean that you should be looking for products to charge outrageous amounts for. As the sweet spot while selling online is typically between $30 and $150, which is what most consumers are willing to spend on a product while shopping online. And while taking both of those product criteria into account, you also want the product to have the ability to be marketed to different audiences. If you're limited with how and who you can market your product to, then you're also limiting how and who you can make your money from. But we'll get more into that when I reveal those four marketing industry secrets in a few minutes. Now the product profit potential is where I really need you to lock in with me because I feel like this is not talked about enough. Your entire reason for selling online is to make some money, right? Right. So don't you wanna make sure that the product that you're choosing to sell can actually put some money into your pockets? All right, that's what I thought. So to do that, you wanna make sure that you're able to sell the product that you find for at least 2.5X the cost of goods. And when I say you're able to, that does not mean you just go mark up your price to meet that 2.5X margin. This means that other competitors in the market, they are already selling the product at around the same price as you. You see, the last thing that you wanna do is have a great product, but be the store selling it at the most expensive rates. So to make sure that the product profit potential is there without overpricing the product, you're gonna see how much you can go out there and get the product for, including shipping from your supplier. Then once you have that total, let's say it's $13. You're gonna take that $13 and multiply it by 2.5, which is going to give you your minimum selling price. In this case, that's going to be around $32.50. Then from there, you're going to type your product into Google and see what competition is currently selling this product for. And most of the time, you'll see it right around that number that you just got, or even a little higher. Then once you get that information, you have to leverage your price right at that 2.5X profit margin or price up the margins and meet your competitors at their selling price. Now, of course, none of this is done without a product. So there are three methods of finding these products that are going to be highly marketable and help you take you from little to no sales to a store that is booming. And we're gonna be covering each of them right now. So if you haven't been taking any notes up until now, I'm gonna need you to get ready. The methods are a free product research method, a paid product research method, and then a secret research method that only the top of the top in the industry, including myself, are using. 
to find six figure winning products that I'm going to be sharing with you here today. And look, I'm an advocate for free product research. I mean, if I'm being honest with you guys, I found one of my first winning products by simply scrolling on Facebook and doing something called focus scrolling. And this means that when you get on social media, you're not just getting lost in the scroll, but instead actively looking for products that have real potential behind them. But in order to get a timeline that is filled with these types of products, it's going to be important that you engage with other dropshipping ads. That means stop and watch the full ad video, like it, comment on it, even share it. And most importantly, click the store link and go all the way through checkout but back out right before you have to purchase. Doing this throughout your Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok timeline, this is going to show the algorithm that you're a potential buyer. And then more and more ads are going to be pushed your way, filled with potential products that you could be selling. I want you to think about it like this. If it's showing up on your timeline, that means that there's an advertiser putting money behind getting that ad to you. And typically, they're only going to be doing that if they're making some money from the product themselves. That's exactly why I say there's money in front of your face every single day. You just have to know what you're looking for. So if you're someone who's easily distracted, but you want to find a product with this free product research method, then do yourself a favor. Go out there, open up another account that you know is dedicated to focus scrolling. Continue to optimize your algorithm to drop shipping ads and find yourself a product to go crazy with because they are always out there. Now, even though free product research should be utilized, it has nothing on paid product research when it comes to the efficiency and the consistency of finding winning products. I have to say that paid product research and the third secret method that I'm about to review have to be some of my favorite ways to come up with winners. These next two methods are key points to the exact product research methods taught in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program and are helping students in my success discord consistently find winning products that are generating them $1,000 plus days. So if you're looking to learn firsthand from myself and my team, not only to continually find winning products throughout the seasons, but probably sell them too. Go ahead and check out the link down in my bio and apply for personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching towards your dropshipping goals. All right, so anytime I'm doing paid product research, I'm always doing it on AutoDS. I like it because it's not only a platform where you can do product research, but any product that you find on the platform, I can also supply from AutoDS or one of the 20 plus other suppliers that they connect with. On top of that, I can automate the fulfillment process so that all I have to do is focus on finding my next product and selling my current one. Now, they're not sponsoring this video or anything. I just genuinely like their platform and I'm about to hop into it so you can see how I'm coming up with winners. But if you do decide that you wanna check their platform out, I have a link down in my description below that's gonna give you a free 30 day trial with AutoDS. So before I ever hop into any type of product research on a paid platform, I know I'm not there just to waste time scrolling through products. I can already do that for free on Facebook or TikTok. So the first thing I always do is verify some sort of trend that's happening on Google Trends. For example, I know that Father's Day is coming up and that people are going to be looking for products to get their dads. And I can verify that. It's not just a thought or hope. I'm backing it up with data. You can see that every year around this time right now. Consumers start searching for Father's Day gifts. So right now, it's just my job to find something that they're going to be looking for. And here's the thing, AutoDS has shipping options on a ton of their products between two and five day shipping. So you could take advantage of any quick trend without worrying whether the product is going to get to your customer in time or not. So as I head into AutoDS, you're gonna see the different sections they have to find products in. And each one of these sections, they get updated with new products on the rise in the market every single day. The marketplace section is going to show you every single product that AutoDS has. This is also where you're gonna find those two to five day shipping options when you click the fast shipping button. Then there's the handpicked product section that's going to show you products that are on the market right now and are showing promise. And if you hover over the product that you're interested in, you're going to get an engagement and saturation score, which will give you an idea of how many sellers are in the market selling this product currently, along with how heavy the engagement is from other competitors selling it. The lower the saturation and the higher the engagement, the better. Now, if the product is showing saturated, but it's hitting all the other checkpoints that we're gonna cover, I do not want you to shy away from it because with the marketing secrets that I'm about to be revealing at the end of this video, saturation, will not be an issue. So then there's also the TikTok Spy and the Trending Product section. The TikTok Spy section is gonna show you the inventory of TikTok products that AutoDS has. And in the Trending Product section, this is gonna show you products that are already going crazy on the platform or are showing the potential to do so. And even better, now there's actually a really helpful feature just added to the TikTok Spy section, where you can do an advanced filter search and determine when the last comment time was and how many comments you want there to be. This, this is huge. And here's a little sauce for you guys. If you're seeing comments consistently within the last couple of minutes, hours, and days, this is going to tell you two things. There's an advertiser putting money behind this ad to get in front of customers. And again, 
if they're good at what they do, they're not gonna just be pushing money behind an ad that is not bringing the money back. And two, consumers, they're actually interested in this product and they're taking the extra step by comedy to show their interest in it. So you do wanna actually go into the comment section to make sure that the comments are mostly positive or have people tagging other people, which is just gonna help you gauge whether the feedback on the product is positive or negative further helping you decide if you should be interested in selling this product. Now, when it comes to doing the actual product research in this platform, I wanna be completely transparent with you guys. There's no secret way to doing this. Understanding what type of product that you're looking for is based on understanding the trends and what consumers are actually searching for. Knowing the product is one that actually has potential to sell is based on the product validation that you do after finding a product that goes with the trend. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna head into each one of these product research sections and I'm gonna go ahead and filter down with keywords surrounding Father's Day with high engagement and search around until something catches my eye. Remember, at this point, I'm just trying to find a product that matches with the Father's Day trend that we already verified earlier. And then once I do find a product, we will then validate it to the next steps to see if it's actually worth being sold. So let me go ahead and see what I can find, and then we'll go ahead and get into it. All right, so I came up with this product right here. It fits the Father's Day trend, but now I wanna make sure that they're actively getting traffic to the store and that this product is marketable. And as you can see, AutoDS actually gives you the store links and ads of competitors marketing this product right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and open these links up and see if they're getting some traffic with a tool called SimilarWeb. So it's looking like two out of the three competitors are actively getting traffic to their store today, with store two getting about 11,000 monthly visitors and then store three getting about 5,000 monthly visitors. And you might not know this, but from that information, you can actually estimate how much each of these stores are making from the traffic that they're currently getting. And it's very simple. All we're gonna do is take that 11,000 store visits from store two and we're gonna multiply it by the industry Shopify conversion rate, which is two and a half percent, which comes out to right around 275. And this 275 number reflects how many orders they're estimated to be getting. So now to figure out the estimate of how much they're making, you're gonna take the order count and you're gonna multiply it by their selling price, which comes out to $35. So they're estimated to be making right around $9,625 in sales a month which is exactly what you wanna be seeing. Because if someone else is making money on it, you can be too. So now with that in mind, I'm just gonna go back to AutoDS and check out the original ad to make sure there are some ways that I can market the product to make potential customers feel something when they see the ad. All right, yeah, this is what I like to see. We got comments happening within the last couple of hours and days. And if I'm being honest with you, the ad is just an ad, nothing that impressive, just someone wearing the pants and trying to show off the stretchiness of them. But just imagine if we came in and we hit viewers with an attention grabbing aspect right away, like the most durable and comfortable pants that your man will ever own, or even some relatable aspect, like does your dad bod have your jeans fitting tighter than usual? Or these pants will stretch to every type of dad bod with a slimming effect. You see, these type of attention grabbing statements in the marketing of these pants is exactly what's gonna make your potential customers feel something and make them fall through on that impulse buy. Context like that is gonna wipe out any competition that's just marketing the product with videos of someone wearing the pants. Always remember that you're not only selling a product, you're selling a story and a feeling too. Now overall, this product is checking the right boxes and I was able to come up with it using a paid product research tool in literally a couple of minutes which is why I think paid product research tools are so valuable. Instead of searching through Facebook or TikTok and trying to verify different products, I had every link to my competition. I had a link to the competitor ads, and I already have a supplier simply from using AutoDS. You can literally find a product, create a store, and start running ads for the product in the same day. And look, time, time is money. So even though it might cost about $30 a month for this platform, you're saving time in the product research stage that can then be put forward towards running ads and making even more money. Now, do you remember that secret method that I told you guys I was gonna put you all onto? Well, it's time to talk about it. And it might sound outrageous, but it's simply just by letting professionals do the work for you. Now, you guys might not know this, so congratulations to you if you made it this far, because you're about to get put on. But every single month, we put out a secret product list inside of our email list with 10 validated and trending products that come from AutoDS. This list has every link that you need to start selling it, with links to competitor stores, competitor ads, and suppliers for the product. Oh, and did I mention that this list is free? So what that means is every single month, 
you'll have the professionals doing the work for you, finding new potential winning products and literally listing every single thing out for you. And this is something that big e-commerce sellers are doing in different ways. Whether it's private suppliers giving big plugins to big sellers on what products are moving in the factory or working with other sellers and getting insights to the products that they're testing. So my team and I decided to be that connect for you guys. All you have to do to get this super exclusive and low key list every single month is click the link down in my description and sign up. All right, now I've showed you guys not only how to find products to start selling, but I showed you how to validate them and make sure they have real potential to make you some sales. But now I'm about to take it a step further and give you four industry advertising secrets that help you consistently make sales with a price that you now know exactly how to find. Now, if you find any of these useful and think you're gonna try them out for yourself, then do me a favor and go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below with what strategy stood out to you the most. And also give this video a like so that this information can get pushed out to more people just like you. All right, so the first industry advertising secret that's gonna make sure that you're bringing in sales is leveraging user-generated content in your ads. User-generated content is incredibly powerful because it brings authenticity to your ads. When potential customers see real people using your products, it builds trust and credibility. Plus, UGC tends to have higher engagement rates. Secret number two, implement dynamic retargeting ads. Dynamic retargeting ads are another game changer. So not everyone will buy on their first visit to your store, but dynamic retargeting ads reminds them of the price that they viewed or added to their cart. And all these retargeting ads are personalized and showing the exact products that they were interested in, increasing the likelihood of them coming back and completing the purchase. It's a simple yet highly effective way to keep your product in customers' minds. Secret three, test out different ad formats. You always wanna be testing out different ad formats and not just stick to one type of ad. Experiment with carousel ads, video ads, and stories across different platforms because each format has its own unique strengths and can capture attention in different ways. Even though short form content has taken over the market, you'll still see that different ad formats outside of videos can still take off. And now secret number four, different hooks, same content. This. This is probably one of the biggest industry tips that people are using right now. And it's a definition of working smarter and not harder. As we all know, the first three seconds of your video ads is the most important part of your ads. So in order to find out what works for your product, the best thing that you can do is to test out different hooks. Using all different types of hooks is what will help you tap into broader audiences. I mean, just think about it. Different people are going to relate to different ways of practice being advertised. So the more that you can attract with the same ad, but with different hooks, I guarantee the more eyes and sales that you'll have on your store. And here's a big bonus for you all. Take a look at what consumers are saying in the comment section of your competitors' ads, because they will literally tell you exactly how you should be marketing the product. Now, through this entire video, I've walked you through a process to understand what criteria makes a winning product. And I've even given you some industry secrets that help you go crazy while advertising the product. And I'm telling you now, you have every key that you need to find a product and start selling it profitably. So now it's just up to you to do it. And this video right here will give you a step-by-step -step understanding of what ad strategies to use to do that. So click in now and meet me there.